let you guys know that there's been a major Microsoft off it, uh, hack and basically this hack has uh, reached thousands of business accounts so far now if it happens to be a worm it could spread through different net networks if you open up the email um, I would if you have a business uh, Microsoft Office for business I would uh, be very careful and ramp up my security. Uh, the worms are nothing to mess with and um, they can cause lots of damage. And um, uh, Bloomberg has an article on it. This, this is a very fluid situation. Um, the White House has spoken on it. Now, many people don't know this, but for my one of my master's degrees, uh, I have two uh, I worked on two master's degrees one was in digital marketing and the other one was in uh, legal studies and I did a thesis on um, the uh, different types of hacks with respect to the CFAA and I had to study this security stuff so this is nothing to mess around with and um, you can look uh, in some of these articles this particular one was updated today and it says the White House uh, warns about it now they say that I guess they've uh, gotten enough information that they know it's a Chinese government backed hacking group and so far they've identified 60,000 known victims globally and so if it's global a global hack uh, it might be something like a worm from business to business using the Microsoft uh, email Outlook or something like that uh, I'm just guessing if, as far as the Outlook goes I mean it sounds like it because of the article that I read it says a wide uh, many of them appear to be small and medium-sized businesses so far caught in a wide net the attackers cast as Microsoft worked to shut down the heck so Microsoft has known about this but hasn't publicized it and has been trying to shut it down. This is what gets me ticked off because they said they noticed it before um, uh, maybe a month or two ago and uh, they they were doing patches and stuff like that with updates but it says a European banking authority became one of the latest victims on Sunday. Um, it accesses personal data through emails held on the Microsoft server. Okay so Microsoft offers a lot of products. They offer Outlook, but they also offer servers. So I'm not sure which it is. Okay. Now, uh, a lot of schools and businesses use Microsoft as a platform for a landing page to sign into a website for a school. So um, it says to take this very seriously. And um, the White House has spoken on it with the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, Microsoft calls this group Hafenum, uh, and it appears to have been hacking into private and government computer networks through its popular exchange email software for a number of months, initially targeting only a small number of victims. Of course, that spreads like wildfire, right? It's like having embers on a fire and then they catch and the whole thing gets on fire. So um, a cybersecurity firm uh, by Stephen Adair in uh, Virginia named Velexity um, helped Microsoft to identify these flaws and it issued a fix this past Tuesday. So here, here we're hearing about it now and the crud's been going on for a while. Well, th they've even patched it I mean, what else is going on? Are we putting out a bunch of fires or just one fire? So basically, this is the second cybersecurity crisis coming just months after these Russian hackers um, with the solar winds. All right, so let's take a quick peek at what the White House has to say. And by the way, here's uh, some of the many articles. All you have to do is you go on your uh, search engine, uh, I'm using uh, DuckDuckGo within a 
This particular DuckDuckGo is in Chrome browser. I, I put that on all my browsers. But um, you, you can just Google it or, or, you know, use another search engine. But this is what I came up with. And then, you know, you can click on News, Images, Settings, Anytime. And there's many, many articles on this. Aris Technica had this yesterday. The Washington Post put it. It says it's morph morphing into a global security threat. Um, and they, they started with small business accounts. Um, let's see if the White House has anything to, to say about it. So I'm just going to run a quick search and then I'm going to hop off here. Because I haven't even I haven't even read that yet. I gotta get running up. I'm actually backing up my device. Oh, heck Microsoft. And this should get something a little bit better. Homeland Security. Anytime, let's say the past week. And let's try to find Homeland Security themselves. All right, let's just go hom Homeland Security. Department of Homeland Security in, in uh, United States. Um, why don't they have the website for this department? All right, here, let's take a look at this. All right, let's see if they have announcements here. Whoops, sorry. Topics. Unless it's the White House that's... Okay, here here we go. Homeland Security, Microsoft Enterprise License Agreements. Oh, don't, t oh, don't tell me this is a Microsoft site too. News and updates. Multiple patia anytime. Let's... Uh, last week. Oh, come on. This is terrible. They should have an announcement. They haven't updated their site yet. Come on. Biden. All right. Ha. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm doing this live. All right, here we go. White House calls Microsoft email breach an active threat two days ago. Okay, so this, actually they know about it. Uh, White House calls it an active threat. White House says it's closely following the email breach. Uh, White House closely following, White House closely following, Helicon Valley, China implicated, hackers breach, customers become global. Well, look, guys, I don't know. It's still developing. Uh, they haven't made a full statement on it yet, and Bloomberg evidently was saying that Department of Homeland Security said something, but they haven't posted anything on their website yet. I guess they're going to make an official statement soon. All right, well, guys, thanks for watching. You can do your own research. I just skimmed around here. Thanks for listening. Again, this is a developing story. If there's anything new, I'll let you know. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.